to the Geeky Girls Knit Podcast. I'm Cece, also known as Java Pearl. I'm Damaris, also known as Damaris Dash a Bit Weird. And we're glad to have you today. Today is Wednesday, November the 6th. Yes. 2013. <laughs> no, it's 2020. We time traveled. <laughs> and this is episode 62. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! I did it without looking at the show notes. Are you sure you didn't look out of the corner of your eye? I looked at the calendar out of the corner of my eye, but I did not look at the show notes out of the corner of my eye. (laughs) We would like to say a big hello to all of our returning viewers. Thanks for coming back. We love you. Love, true love. And a big hello. Thanks for joining us to any new viewers. Um, thanks for giving us a shot. Hope you enjoy the show. We're a little bit crazy, a little bit geeky, but that's why you watch us, huh? <laughs> so we have a lot to talk about today. You mean it this time. Yeah, we, we normally have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to talk about. If you could see the stuff surrounding us... Oh my word, it's insane. So, um, we should probably get started. Yeah, all right, here we go. Now we're going to talk about what's on our needles so and what's... spindle. Oh, I may have to change the card. The intro card. Um, so, uh, what's on your needles, Damaris? What? That does not look like your sweater. I know, it shrunk and changed color. (laughs) So what in the world is this? This is my finally another project. It's the the first of a pair of fingerless gloves. The pattern is Rebel by Trudy Brown. Mm. That's a familiar name. Really? Yes. Oh, how funny. I didn't know that. And the yarn is... Uh, windy Aaron with wool in the island colorway. Your needles? And my needles are U.S. size sixes, and they're oh. they're four millimeters. Four millimeters. So, who are these gloves for? Me. You. But I knit something for someone else. Okay. We'll talk, in three days. We'll talk about that in the next segment. So, how does it feel not to be talking about your sweater in the what's on my needle section? <laughs> so how long are these fingerless gloves going to be? Uh, are they short? Are they like wrister? Or are they, they are, long? They're not short, they're long. Like maybe that long? Like about there? Okay. I can't see them with my fingers yes. down that side. Alright. Are you enjoying the pattern? Yes. Are you enjoying the Yule? The, the Yule? This, <laughs> this is Yule. <laughs> it's a combination of yarn and wool. Yule. Mm-hmm. How, how do you like your Yule? <laughs> Good. I couldn't find it on Ravelry at first. Yes, I have a stash now. Stashes what? Are, stashes are cool. Like this kind of stash. We could be like the mustache girls. You're, you're not putting up your stash. In my room on my Jarvis. <laughs> that kind of stash. <laughs> In my room on my Jarvis. So I may have to employ you to, to update my stash. Because it needs help. And photos. All right. Anything else you want to talk about? Nope. All right. Well, then I guess I should tell them about all my 37 zillion things on my needles. So I am still working on my new sock design, Socks for Ten. Doctor Who inspired socks. Without giving away the pattern. Can you see the purple? No. No. This is Knit Pick Stroll hand painted in the coffee shop colorway. And there is purple in there, even though you can't see it. It's invisible purple. It's invisible purple. I had trouble taking pictures of my purple yarn. It's so soft. I love it. These are on US 1.5s, 2.5 millimeters. First sock was done last week. Second sock, I've turned the heel and I'm on the leg. Hold on, I don't want to show. Uh, I was right here. I had done part of the, the foot last week. But I finished the foot, turned the heel, and I'm on the leg. And it's with my test knitters who are knit, knit, knitting it up because my intention is to publish it sometime the week of the 19th of November. 
My test computer's deadline is the 18th. So maybe I'll have it up the 19th. If not, it probably will, it might be the 20th or the 21st. It will be before the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, which is on the 23rd. And I'm trying to think of a good um, introductory offer. I don't know if I'll still do the same thing that I usually do or if I'll try something different. We'll see. If you have suggestions, let me know. All right, so that's on my needles. Next on my needles is the Diamond Baby Blanket by Sue Fay on US 9's 5.5 millimeters in the James C. Brett Marble Chunky in green and blue. This is square. You want to say it, Damaris? Seven of nine. Seven of nine. It's lovely. And I am still not even through the first skein of yarn. Now, these were like as big as your head skeins, pretty much. Really, they pretty much are. The other ones are over there. Um, so I think I'm going to have enough left to knit a little sweater for my nephew, too, because this is my nephew's baby blanket. So, seven of nine, done. I'm trying to do a square a week. So, there is that. Next on my needles, <laughs> in my bad mother knitter, bag is my hula hot sweater that I am doing for Nan is Suemo, which is the which is the takeoff on um, National Novel Writing Month. This is National Knit a Sweater Month and you knit a sweater of at least fifty thousand stitches. So I cast this on last Friday and I'm trying to find the okay this is the front. This is how much I have done, which is a lot. Uh, this is the Ho Aloha pattern by Mel of the Single Handed Knitter podcast, and I'm doing this in King Cole Bounty Erin in the pink mist colorway on US 7's 4.5 millimeters and US 8's 5 millimeters. And I have done, oh dear, I can't remember how many stitches I've done. I just posted it this morning. Hold on. Let me find my spreadsheet because it will tell us. Because, yes, I do have a spreadsheet. Yesterday was my most successful day. Come on, spreadsheet, open. Come on, down, 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 down. I have done 16,218 stitches. And I'm loving it. I tried it on last night. It looks lovely. I finished the bust increases and decreases, and now I am on the um, body portion, just stuck in it for as long as the eye can see. Tried it on last night. It fits great, which is lovely because this is only my second sweater. So I'm having loads of fun with Nana Swimmo. Um, I post a blog post every day with an updated picture, but I'm also posting that on Instagram. So I think some of y'all are seeing that as well on Instagram when I post my daily photo of my progress. And finally, I showed this bag last week, didn't I? I didn't think so. Huh? I did, I think. My spindle bag. Um, I have not done very much spinning this week because I've been working on the sweater, but I've done just a smidge. This is all I have left of this uh, fiber that came from Hilltop Cloud when I bought the spindle kit. So I need, and I can tell when I, when I spun yesterday, I could tell that my muscle memory was not great because it had been a few days since I spun. So I need to be more consistent about spinning at least a few minutes every day. So I'm going to try to do that. But that is on my spindle. I want to try to have that all spun up before the next guild meeting, which is in about a week and a half. So, that is everything that's on my needles and spindle, and on Damaris's needles. So I think we're ready to move on to the next segment. And now we're going to talk about our finished projects. <laughs> um, I have none. It's all you. But <laughs> And I have two. What? Well, first I'm going to talk about this one. This 
is a toddler hat that I knit for our friend's son, whose name is Noah. And it's just a little hat with eye cord at the top. You tie a knot with it. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. The yarn, which is not on Ravelry, is Ginny Houses Hand Spun Yarns. She does not have a colorway name for it, but it is Shetland DK. It's like browns and oranges and maroons and teals. And a little bit of like a little bright yellow. Yeah. It's, and oh, it's lovely. It's multicolored. The needles were US 4s and US 6s, 3.5 millimeters and 4 millimeter. Yes. And you knit this? I started it on the second and finished it yesterday. Yes, because you bought the wool on the second. We're going to talk more about what we bought at the Wool Festival in the next segment. But it's lovely. I love it. And Noah will too. Now, um, <laughs> surely there's something else you finished. Um, mm -hmm. What could it be? I have no clue. I, I don't. I don't. Know. I don't. I don't know what it might be <laughs> here. You know. Uh. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, okay. This. What I'm wearing right here, and you've probably all seen a picture of it, and yeah. thank you to everyone who's liked it on Facebook and Ravelry and Instagram. Twitter and Instagram and et cetera. Uh, this Clark, people liked it on Plurk, too. Well, yeah. they didn't really like it. They, they commented on it because you can't, well, I guess you can like on Plurk, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not on Plurk. I uh, am. This is my Watson sweater. Seven months and one day in the making. Yes. The pattern was Dr. Watson's Cabled Crew Neck by Trudy Brown. Uh, the needles I used were US 3s and US 4s, which were. Would be like, I think, 3mm and 4mm? No, 3mm and 3.5mm. I thought it was 3.25mm. Or maybe 3.25mm. Anyway. I don't know. But I finished it on Halloween. The yarn? Oh yes, the yarn was Baroque Vintage in the Oats colorway, and I have like a little tiny ball left, just a little tiny ball. You could maybe knit a little headband, a thin little headband, kind of like maybe like that uh, orange one I did. That'd be cute. So how does it feel to have finished your first sweater? I don't know. I think it looks amazing. You stand up and let them see it in all its glory. Don't bump the microphone. Okay, there we go. Hi. It, it looks is. great. And now it's time for my favorite part of our show. <laughs> yummies! What are yummies, Mayor? Yummies are our current favorite things, things we like, things we want to talk. Love. Yes, yummies. The first part of yummies is brought to you by Doctor Who. By BBC One. By BBC One. Because, bum ba ba, BBC One has released the synopsis for the Doctor Who 50th anniversary special, The Day of the Doctor. Are you ready? I'm going to tell it to you. It's not really spoilery, is it? Mm, not sort of. It, it's a synopsis. But it doesn't give away like all the details or anything. No. Okay, well, if you don't want to hear the synopsis, which has been all over the interwebs, so you've probably read it by now, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. You should fast forward just a smidgen. Okay, you ready? Here we go. The Doctors. That's 10 and 11 and John Hurt. Who is probably 8. We think. The Doctors embark on their greatest adventure. And this 50th anniversary special. In 2013, something terrible is awakening in London's National Gallery. In 1562, a murderous plot is afoot in Elizabethan England. And somewhere in space, an ancient battle reaches its devastating conclusion. All of reality is at stake as the Doctor's own dangerous past comes back. Do you feel motivated to go watch it? <laughs> I'm going to the cinema and watch it! We've already talked about that last week. In uh, two and a half weeks, two and a half weeks. 
Is there anything else you would like to say about that? No. No. Now, it's your turn to tell them something. You have to tell them. You got sonic screwdrivers! Okay, so tell them which one you got. I got 11s. And it's it's bigger than mine. And it, like, pops open. Show them. But then it's sort of anticlimactic because the button on the bottom only works when you pop it open. So you have to pop it open and then open the bottom and then go. Well, you or you can go, like. Don't break it. Yeah. But you could pop open the bottom first. Yeah, but there, there's no, like, way to press the bottom button when you're holding it like this. You have to have a second hand. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to work it. You don't Oops, I hope I didn't just bust their eardrums, because we did that right into the microphone. Yeah, you don't go... You have to have a secret hand. <laughs> and I got River Songs. Sonic! It's kind of flashlight. And it's got the little pinky finger thing, and... So mine does blue light. It's supposed to do red light too, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either, but it's fine. I like it. And the thing comes off. Oh yeah, the little panel comes off. For the ghost thing. For the ghost thing from the library. I forget what it's called. Ghost. 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 Ghost something. Ghostbusters. Nah. No. Didn't we ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghostbusters. Because we have sonic screwdrivers. Oh, mine makes this noise, too. Oh, wait, no, that's not the one. So, we are very excited about our new toys. We will be taking them to the 50th anniversary. It's like, it, they're like, they're like, Dr. Who version of ghost sticks. I wish there was a way you could turn on the light without turning on the sound. I know, me too. There are flashlight versions of them, but they're smaller. Yeah. So. You know what I forgot to put in the show notes? What was released this week? By BBC? Lots of things. <laughs> well, yes. But I'm talking about the, the, the first picture. Oh, yes. The first picture for Series 3 of Sherlock. Yes. And John did not have his mustache. Pizza! Pizza. If you and consider pizza spoilers. And John Sherlock pizza. watching John through the window. Yeah, he's totally discreet. Man. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Master spy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, we should talk about GTK Crafty Pad because then we have a whole lot of stuff to talk about afterwards. So, it's November and there are so many people participating in GTK Crafty Pad. We had so many pictures to sort through today to try to pick our favorites. Oh my goodness, y'all are amazing. It's very hard to pick our favorite pictures every week. So, uh, we're going to pause right here, show you each of our favorite pictures of our cell, of our own pictures that we took. I, it, I can never come up with a very smooth way to say that. We'll show you the world. <laughs> Shiny, shimmering, <laughs> splendid. And our three favorite photos that y'all took this week. So we're going to pause and here they come. So those were our favorite photos and also the November list. Um, it's never too late to join in, so take a picture, post it, tag it GTK Crafty Pad, and we will love it. Love. To love. 
All right, we went somewhere on Saturday. Where did we go? The ocean. Actually, that was the sea. Yes. But we really weren't going to the sea. What were we going to? A wool festival. A, a wool festival? <laughs> the St. Abbs Wool Festival. So it was about an hour away, mm -hmm. and our friend Katie went with us. She drove. She was awesome. What did you think of it? I liked it. Yeah. There was only about, like, what, maybe ten vendors? Mm -hmm. The thing I did not like is it was in a very small room, and it was so it made it difficult to get around with my wheelchair. But we did it, and we bought stuff. You start. You want, okay, so we need to start from the same... So this one's all from her too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this stuff is all from Jenny Howes, who is, um, her website is skybluepink-designs.com. And she is on Ravelry as Jenny, J-E-N-N-I-E, Howes. And she's the one that was in charge of the, of the um, Wool Festival. So I bought a few things from her and then decided I needed more things from her, and so I contacted her and had her ship me things in the post and they already arrived so first thing I got from her were these eight buttons and they're lovely florally swirly pinky goodness I'm not sure what I'm going to use these on yet but I love them they're so pretty and then she had these amazing greeting cards for Christmas that have buttons on them they're so cute so these two are going to be used for some swap things that I'm in. But then we decided we needed more buttons. So I ordered these buttons, which are blue and green. There is six of them. So if I make the um, sweater for, for my new nephew, I'll need four of them, and then I'll have two left over, so we'll see. You, I'm, I'm just keep talking because you're going to... Okay, so what we decided to do... Where is it? Okay, we ordered two more of the gift Christmas gift uh, Christmas greeting cards with buttons, and these are going to be two of the prizes for the... No, giftable, giftable cow. Oh. Oops, I just dropped some on the floor. So... This is purple, it's coming out blue, but it's got green poinsettia buttons on it. Poinsettia. Poinsettia. And this is a brown card with pink hearts buttons. So this is going to be two prizes for the giftable cow. We'll tell you more about prizes when we get to the cow. And then, Damaris and I were talking this week, and we decided that we are going to host a Ravelinux team for the Olympics in February. And um, there'll be more details of that coming soon. But we bought two greeting cards that are trees with owl buttons on them that are going to be some prizes for the Ravelinix. So stay tuned because we will be talking more about that soon um, for um, how, to, how you can win those. Now, you bought something from her as well. I did. So you want to show that? This was the yarn I was showing you earlier. It's the yarn I made the hat out of. It's so pretty. Yes, and here's a full thing of it. I did. I got three of them because I didn't know what hat pattern I was going to use. And or I didn't how much know, yardage. Or how much, or how much yardage was in one of them. And I didn't even use an entire one of them. I still have another one. I, I, I've told her. I, 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 I subtly told her that she could make me something out of it. <laughs> it's so pretty. And it's going to be so soft when it's soaked. You haven't soaked your hat yet, but um, that will be so nice. Okay, I guess let me talk about these ones next, and then we'll talk about the other vendor that you and I both bought stuff from. Um, the next vendor I bought stuff from was Yarn Garden. Their website is yarngarden.co.uk. And I bought two skeins. They're purple. This one's purple. This one is French lilac. And this one is the same purple and a white. It's called 
med medley lilac. These are both lace weights. Phenomenal yardage, 870 yards a piece. I bought these for a cow that I'm going to, a mystery cow I'm going to do in December, and then discovered that I needed one solid color, not, not a um, variegated. variegated, I guess. So this is going to have to be something else. I can find you something pretty for it. Oh, I know something pretty. What? It's called a, I think it's called the Titania Shawl. It was, it, it's been on the featured page for the patterns. Oh, really? And it was free until the 5th, and I have it in my library. Oh, okay. I was also thinking possibly about doing a um, oh, Citron, Citron Grand. Grand. Yeah. I think our lighting just totally changed because the sun just came out. Come so, out so sorry tomorrow. about the change, and I can see like, shadows. Oh. <laughs> totally yarn. Um, so sorry about that change. Um, there's not really anything we can do about it right now. So we'll just keep talking. All right, so then we've got um, stuff from another vendor. You want to go first? Yes, please go first. Okay. Did you get her card out to show? Oops. Okay. We got stuff from a woman named Lindsay Roberts, and she is not on Ravelry, but her website is tartsart.co.uk. Uh, her business is the Border Tart. Mm-hmm. And we got these little mini skeins, which are thread weight. Yeah, I got five of them. And so did I. Hold on. Mm. That one in the middle is purple, not blue. And that one on the end has purple in it, too. So what are you thinking about doing yours with yours? Well, I want to do a beekeeper's something. I've been wanting to do a beekeeper's quilt, and I have, well, now I have a few little mini skeins, and so I've been wanting to do a beekeeper's something. I'm thinking about maybe doing, like, a pillow first. Like, with, with the it? solid knitted back, maybe, mm -hmm. to see what you think. Um, I think with these ones, though, we are going to have to hold them, like, tripled mm -hmm. to be sock weight. But... It seems like they have a pretty good yardage, so hopefully, I'm like in the light now and you are in the dark shadow, but it looks like the sun is going back away, the clouds are about to cover it. Um, I'm think What I'm thinking of doing with mine, I have some other mini skeins as well, I'm thinking about doing the lefty um, kind of shawlette scarf thing, um, and I'm actually thinking of doing this as one of my Ravelinix projects. I've got a gray kind of a variegated gray that I want to use as the main color, and then I've got these mini skeins and several others and some leftover sock yarn that have all got pinks in them to use as the feathers. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. I have a quick question, though. We don't know what these are. The labels, we can't read them. And so if you know what these are, I have a closer up picture of the labels on my stash page. Yeah. And it's called Help Unknown Mini Skeins. So, all right, I got a few other, th I got a couple other things from her as well. This is a 50 gram pinwheel of merino and tussa silk to spin. Tussa silk. Tussa silk. And it's not showing up very true colors. It's a much brighter pink and oranges and yellows and some white in it. And it's so soft. I'm sorry if you can hear our screaming child. Apparently she does not want to take her nap. <laughs> out in the um, entryway. So I got that one. I can't put that back in there. And then I bought these. They are 50 grams of carded fibers. They all have merino wool in them, and then they potentially have alpaca, angora, banana fiber, cotton, linen, mohair, soya fiber, silk, or any or all of those. Banana fiber. And it's much brighter than that. It's pinks, pinks and reds and purples. And I love it. So then, after we got home, since I found out that the lace weight that I bought would not work, I placed an order. I'm trying to put this fiber back in here. Um, I placed an order online from, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the place, 
We County Yarns. And they don't have their website on this. I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, and I ordered this. It's an Italian yarn. Filatura di Crosa. Zara Family Lace Weight. Cinto Lavaggi. And the colorway, this is the number. Does it have a name? Oh, it's Rosa Antico, which is rose pink. And that's not very true. It's it's much... I can't decide what to do. Oh, that's a little better. It's a bit better. It's a, um, it's a rosy, rosy pink. When, and you it, hold it, when you're holding it further away, it looks kind of better. Oh, yeah. That's better. I was trying to see. Um, it's 1,531 yards. Wow. And it's so soft. <laughs> felt like a cloud touched my cheek. Oh, a cloud touched my <laughs> cheek. <laughs> it kind of tickles. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing the... Oh, dear. I didn't write it down. It's in my queue. Actually, I purchased the pattern already. It's a mystery stole knit along in December. And it, the stole is going to end up being like 20 inches by 80 inches. And it's Advent themed, which Advent is a very important time of the year for us. And so that really made me want to do this. You can use beads in it or you can choose not to. She's choosing to. I think I'm choosing to. And you can choose to use a small amount or a little bit bigger amount. I've never done beaded knitting before, so this is going to be exciting and new. I think I've found the beads I'm going to use. Um, I've just got to purchase them. They're kind of uh, crystal-y is what I've decided, I think, to use on this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> then, what else do we want to talk about? Oh, we went to a new knitting group mm -hmm. on Monday night. It was fantabulous. It's more accessible to us location-wise and everything. It is called the Town Mouse Knitting Club. And they meet on Monday nights. And we had a load of fun. Mm -hmm. Apparently my highlighter tape that I use on patterns is a product from the future that I have brought to Edinburgh with the me. The future being America. Apparently so. Or the future <laughs> being I traveled in my TARDIS and went and got it. So now I have to come up with a new product from the future to bring in next week to show them. <laughs> it was very funny. I, I guess you kind of had to be there. But it was hysterical. Um, so that's on Monday nights. Uh, if you're interested, if you're in the area, we'd love to have you. And then the only other upcoming event we have is on the 16th of November, the Edinburgh Guild of Weaver Spinners and Dyers. And I'll be there. You're probably going to go. I don't know. We'll see. And I think that's about it. That was a lot of yummies. Yummy. All right, so we probably should move on to the next segment. Now we're going to talk about what books we're reading and what TV we're watching. So what are we reading? Um, you started TikTok of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Yes. And you're about to start it? Yes. Okay. You're working on your report on The Hot Zone by... Richard Preston. Yes. And then I started a new book last night. In fact, it was just released yesterday by um, an online friend of mine who wrote it. Her name is Sarah Bessie. And this book is called Jesus Feminist, An Invitation to Re Revisit the Bible's View of Women, Exploring God's Radical Notion that Women Are People, Too. And it's a fantabulous book thus far. I wanted to stay up all night and read it, but I did not do that. But I'm enjoying it. So, if that's your cup of tea, I recommend it. All right, are we ready to talk about all of the telly? You want to start? Okay, uh, Doctor Who, our second rewatch before the 50th, maybe. I, I don't know if we're going to get it done before the 50th. 
you've watched their series two, episode eight, which is, episode eight was the first part of the Impossible Planet two-parter. Yes. So, um, we hope to get quite a bit watched this weekend. Hopefully. All right. What else are we watching? Uh, Criminal Minds season two. Yes. Reed is a cutie, and and, and he has hand knits. Uh, and, and Garcia knits. Yes. In the episode we watched was that yesterday? Yes. One of the ones we watched yesterday. And um, what's her name left? L. L left. Um, the Hubs and I are watching Chuck. We finished season one and have started season two. He and I are, are also watching New Girl. We finished season two and started season three. So we are almost caught up to present on that. Um, NCIS from last week, episode 11.6, Oil and Water. Somebody was pranking everyone. It was Gibbs. I think it was Gibbs. Oh, it was Gibbs. The, the, what's her name? Lauren? Yes. Um, she- it was quite humorous in the elevator. Gibbs pushed the stop button in the elevator, and the sec nav was in there with him, and she said, I thought that was pure urban legend. And Tony said, Booyah, is that right? Booyah. Sorry. It was kind of funny, because he's been, like, very serious recently. And he was in the middle of an interrogation. And he was in the middle of an interrogation. And Abby called Gibbs and Boren... Gabs, Gabs to Gabby, save Gabs. time. To save time. You Gabs, just go Gabs, with it. Gabs, Gabs, Gabs. Gabs. Um, and Boren is potentially coming to work for Gibbs. With Ziva gone. Uh, the next episode was actually last night. We have not watched it yet. Episode 11.7, Better Angels. Uh, um, um, the Hubs and I are also watching NCIS LA Season 5. We have not watched last night's episode yet. Person of Interest, Episode 3.6. Moore's Prematura, I guess. Root needed Shaw's help because the machine told her that. That's why she broke in and tased her and kidnapped her. And then it ended up that Root and Shaw were on the same case that Finch and John were on, but they were both working in opposite directions. It was crazy. And then at the very end, Finch locked Root up with an ankle monitor and no technology. And she's locked in this, like, prison cage room of the flat with lots of books to read and that's it. No technology for Root. She's really off the deep end. Next episode was actually last night, 3.7 The Perfect Mark. We have not watched it yet. You want to talk about the next one? Uh, watching The Escape Artist, which is featuring David Tennant. It's a three-part thing. And Sophie Akinito. Mm-hmm. I think that might I think that's how you say it. Uh, who played Liz Ten in in Doctor Who? Yes. So it was like, "Hello, David Tennant." <laughs> he's a lawyer. Yes. Oh, he's he's a barrister. Barrister. I don't know the differences. I don't think there really is much of one. And the guy who got off on a technicality, who is really creepy and evil, murdered his wife. Murdered Tennant's wife. So, part two was on last night. We haven't watched it yet. It's just a three-part thing. And then I don't know if it'll be continued into another series or if it's just a three-part thing and that's it. So, we'll see. All right. Next up, Revolution, episode 2.6, Dead Man Walking. There were some majorly messed up parent-child interactions going on in this show. And then Rachel colluded with Monroe to save his life. Well... We don't know that. We just know that he's not dead because we saw her at the end digging him up. She had faked his death. Yes, so we don't know if... I think she colluded with him. Or if she just did it. And Aaron's seen more and more visions. It's creepy. Next episode, 2.7, The Patriot Act is on tonight. Watch to Arrow, episode 2.4, Crucible. Canary is Laurel's sister. Dun, dun, dun. That we all thought was dead. Sarah. And then the alderman is a bad guy, too. He was a guy who was supposedly good, but he's bad. And poor Laurel. She's medicating herself with drugs and alcohol. She's very in trouble. Next episode is tonight, episode 2.5, League of Assassins. You're up. Elementary, 2.6, an unnatural arrangement. 
find out more about Tobias, um, I mean Thomas Gregson. The Gregson, formerly known as Tobias. I'm still not over the fact that they changed his I name. I know, I can't figure out why they changed his name. I'm surprised that no one's tweeted to the writers about it, or if they have. Yeah. I, I haven't seen a response to it. crazy. His name's Tobias. But then they changed people, it. People were calling him Toby, and he was listed as Tobias. Now it's changed to Thomas, Tommy. Crazy. And then, okay, uh, Sherlock giving Joan the trunk of his old case, his cold cases. Maybe you can succeed where I have failed. It was precious. Oh. And then, at the end, the song and the sad look that Sherlock gives Joan. Oh. Partnership. Partnership. They're so precious. And next week is the Marchioness. I think that's how you say that. If so, 2.7. It's actually on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Not next week. Tomorrow. The 7th. That's tomorrow. <laughs> and Minecraft is back. From outer space. <laughs> no. From somewhere. Mm, then uh, the Hubs and I are watching season four of Covert Affairs. It's becoming crazier and crazier with Annie being dead, but not really being dead. And oh my goodness, it's crazy. You want to talk about Atlantis? Sure. Atlantis 1.6, the song of the sirens. Okay. And Hercules. Poor Hercules. He just wants Medusa to love him. Oh. And then he's a pig. A literal pig. A literal. Not a metaphor. No, literal. <laughs> and Pythagoras only loves his triangles. <laughs> Pythagoras and his triangles. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's adorable. And oh, Jason. Oh, Jason. You don't know what you've done. You have to kill the queen, the evil queen, but the queen nonetheless. Oh, Jason. Pythagoras. And triangles. No, right triangles. Mm -hmm. There we go. Maybe. I don't know. There. That's a right triangle. Ooh. Well, sort of. More or less. Triangles. Straight edge. It's gotta be straight. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing a straight edge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What's the next one? 1.7, The Rules of Engagement. That'll be on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and then we watched the new episode of Downton Abbey from Series 4. <sighs> so much drama. I'm not looking forward to next week's episode. But I am, but I'm not. Um, we also watched Once Upon a Time, the next episode in season three, who was in it? Ariel. Under the sea. And Regina was Ursula, but then not Ursula. Yes. But Ursula was much different than the animated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then the hubs and I watched How I Met Your Mother last night, and... Even though we still haven't technically seen the meet, we saw the propo his proposal to her last night. It was like a flash forward. Yeah. We did not get a chance to watch the new castle yet, so we will watch that, and then we'll have all kinds of other things to talk to you about mm -hmm. next week. So... Now we're going to talk about the September, October, November giftable cow. So, this is still going strong. Any project that you knit, crochet, weave, or spin that is a gift for someone else, whether it's a holiday, birthday, new baby, whatever kind of gift, um, you could not have started it before September 1st, and you have to finish it by November 30th. And um, I thought that was my phone making a noise, but my phone's on silent. It's something outside. Um, we have decided there will be four prizes because there's so many entries. 
So, first prize is the Kelly Connor Designs bag. Um, what does it say? Something about stash. Mm, it's across stash? the room. I can't remember. It's a green, kind of an olive green bag. Oh, hands off my stash, I think. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Hand, hands off my stash. Uh, so that's one prize. Uh, another prize, or well, two of the prizes will be the um, Christmas tree greeting cards with the buttons on them that we showed you in Yummies. And the fourth prize will be a copy of my new sock pattern, Socks for Ten. Or if you already own that, then we will work out an arrangement on what you win. So, four prizes. So, we have a lot of entries. You want to tell them how many and who entered projects this week? We have 155 entries so far. Holy crap. Y'all are gift-making fools. Fools? Fools crazy. Fools. Fools crazy. Fool of a tech. We're so, good, probably going to have, like, over 200 we might, by the end. Because we still have... Um, we still have... One, two, th like three and a half weeks to go. So, the people who've completed projects this week are K S H one, who is Karen, Embroidery Queen, who is Nicole, S, S E Hepworth, who is Sarah, Wiener, who is Eileen, and Phoenix Fire, who is Tracy. Way to go, guys! Great job. So keep crafting for those gifts. That way, you're not stressed about it in December. All right, on to the next segment. And that's it for this <laughs> week. I'm surprised that we are under an hour. I thought it would be longer. But I guess we didn't talk as in-depth about TV as we usually do. So that's part of why. Yeah. So that's it for this week. It's cold. Yes, I think we have to turn on the radiator. So um, why don't you tell them where to find us online? You can find us at Kinky Girls. <laughs> you... Where can they find us? You can find us at geekgirlsnet.blogspot.com. And there, there are links to everywhere else we are online. YouTube, iTunes, Flip, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Ravelry, Instagram. Their faces. Yeah. All over the worldwide interwebs. Um, if you haven't joined our Ravelry group, come do that. And introduce yourself in the introductions thread. And we'll say hello to you on the next episode. And join in on the cow because there's great prizes. And I think that is about it. So stay warm if you are in winter time. Some people are not in winter time. Some are in summertime. But if you are one of our viewers who is in winter time, stay warm. Happy knitting. Happy crafting. Have a lovely week. We love you guys. <laughs>